What we just seen here is three surpluses on the Saint Laurent Street, right after Saint, uh, Saint Catherine's. Um, these are it's the usual walk I do. I do those three those three places at the time. Check out what they have. I just grabbed one of the Canadian Army a uh, removable hoodie. So when I sleep in my sleeping bag, I'm gonna have a nice protection for cold air, my neck level. Um, so yeah, so a little surplus um, Boxing Day specials. Not really. <laughs> I I'm the guy to give special to, not because it's Christmas, just because it's me. This is Christmas for you. No snow in Montreal. We're doing the, the traditional walk on St. Catherine Street. Which is uh, just looking around, um, not waiting in line. We're gonna wait. We, we like looking at the lines and to look how stupid people are to come back the day after Christmas to get a special when they can wait all year to find the same special. So I'm sure we're gonna find special all year. What do you think? Sure, we're gonna have specials all year. Bushcraft 101, but um, didn't really. I found the one that Morse made a little bit more conclusive. But uh, what we have here, we have the SAS. We have uh, epic survival stories. Uh, what's his name? Matt Graham, which is a very nice um, primitive technique guy type. What we have here. What kind of survival? We have uh, the usual Bear Grylls. Uh, There's Cody Lundin. Cody Lundin, that's his book. When all hell breaks loose, there's nothing you can buy. You have to make your own. Uh, so I'm just looking at the survival books over here. Yeah, that one Christmas looks shopping. Great. And we have this complete outdoors encyclopedia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have this here, SAS survival book, can teach you a whole bunch. And uh, we have the smaller version here. So like I searched the book, it says there's one available here. We have a whole lot of choice of books uh, for people that want to give gifts uh, for kids or anybody that's interested in going outdoors or motivating people. You can always buy a couple of these books and even if you don't read them fully, it's always good to have handy. Uh, having a couple of these books are going to bring you around, around lots of things uh, in the woods. Without, without going in the woods, you can learn so much. And uh, sometimes you don't have a friend like me to teach you, so these books are there to help you out. Like the Bushcraft Bible. We're such religious people, obviously. And then you went hot, you went shopping, it's time to go in the woods. You got everything you need, you can't find any excuses now. You gotta find the time and get out there.
So I used to come here every every year at least, or once in a while, to look at the the, the new setup for the Christmas Village at Ogilvy uh, window here. It's been here for a while, so that's for the spoon man. He's been here for a while. I mean. I think he's been here for 25 years. I mean, as long as I'm living, this guy's been playing spoon here. So it's like a furniture here. So support him. 